What's up everybody, this is Ultima iDevice Vids, and in this video we're going to be doing an iPhone 14 Pro charging test comparing all of the official Apple power adapters that Apple currently sells that they mark as being compatible with the iPhone 14 Pro. And we're going to be using wired charging. So this includes the 5 watt, the 12 watt, the 20 watt, the 30 watt, and the 35 watt power adapters. And we're going to be using the very same iPhone 14 Pro for all five of these tests. It is showing at 100% battery health and I have disabled optimized battery charging and clean energy charging so the device will charge straight up to 100% without any interruptions for every test. It's definitely worth mentioning that I do not recommend turning off optimized battery charging like I just did because leaving it on helps preserve your iPhone's battery health over time. I just disabled it for this video to keep things as even as possible. I also disabled background app refresh to keep everything even in regard to apps refreshing in the background. So starting off here, the iPhone 14 Pro is completely dead for all five tests, and it's been dead for exactly 21 minutes for all tests. I timed this for each test, so we're starting the charging process after the same amount of time that the phone has been off for or dead for. And all right, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the power sources here to start the charging process of all of these. And of course, we'll start a timer at the same time. And shortly after starting the charging process, they all start to boot back up. Of course, the 5 watt power adapter taking the longest amount of time to boot up the iPhone. So we're just going to keep all the devices asleep and plugged in here, and we're not going to do anything other than checking in every 10 minutes to see how the battery charging is going. And as soon as one of the power adapters charges the iPhone to 90%, we'll start checking in at 5 minute increments instead. And straight off the bat, something I want to mention is the iPhone 14 Pro's maximum charging speed caps out around 20 to 23 watts. So that being said, I want to make it very clear that the 30 watt and 35 watt adapters here aren't actually charging the 14 Pro at 30 and 35 watts respectively. They're only charging it at around 23 watts because the 14 Pro is unable to charge at a higher rate than that. So the difference you're going to see between the 20 watt adapters and higher is going to be more or less a negligible difference. My goal with this video is just to compare all the power adapters Apple currently sells for the iPhone 14 Pro so you can see what kind of difference in charge charging speed you'll actually be looking at. You can see between the 5 watt, the 12 watt, and the 20 watt, it's a steady progression down the line, but once again, as you can see there, between the 20, the 30, and the 35 watt, it's very negligible. And you're going to see throughout this test that that trend more or less continues. And based on the information that I was able to find online, it seems that the 30 watt and 35 watt power adapters are able to charge the iPhone 14 Pro only just a few watts higher than the 20 watt power adapter. Once again, resulting in a very minor difference between anything at 20 watts and above. So if you have a 20 watt power adapter or a 30 watt power adapter, there's no reason to go out and get one at a higher wattage for the iPhone 14 Pro here because it's more or less going to be the same at charging speed. Now on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, on the other hand, which of course we're not testing in this video, it can charge a little bit higher with the 30 watts. So that would be a different story. But for the normal iPhone 14 Pro here, it's not gonna be that big of a difference. And when checking in at the one hour and 30 minute mark, the 30 watt power adapter was the first to fully charge the iPhone 14 Pro to 100%. Interestingly enough, a little bit faster than the 35 watt, but I would not interpret you know, a difference as small as just 1% over a couple minutes as anything other than just a little bit of margin for error when you do tests like this. And then just five minutes later at the one hour and 35 minute mark, both the 20 watt and the 35 watt power adapters fully charged the 14 Pro to 100% as well. So from beginning to end, it's very similar performance on those three highest bricks. So at this point, we're just down to the 12 watt and the 5 watt power adapters. With the 12 watt nearing the end here in the high 90s, and as usual when charging iPhones, towards the end of the charging cycle, the charging process does start to slow down a little bit. The closer the phone gets to being 100% charged, the less percentage is gained over, you know, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, etc. And you can see that here with the 12 watt adapter, how it's gaining a less percentage per check-in than earlier in the test. But finally, at the 1 hour and 55 minute check-in, the 12 watt power adapter charges the iPhone 14 Pro all the way up to 100%. And alright, so we're just down to the 5 watt power adapter, currently sitting at around 60%. Of course, if you want to get your phone charged up as fast as possible in a pinch, of course the 5 watt is not going to do a very good job at that. But if you don't care about how long it takes 
for your device to charge, or if you charge your device overnight, the five watt power brick is gonna be perfectly fine. So continuing to check in at five minute increments, you can see it just continues to creep up a few percentage points each check-in. And if you guys are wondering why I'm not using the battery widget on the lock screen of the 14 Pro to get a continuous look at how the battery charging is going, I actually tried doing that, but for whatever reason, sometimes the battery percentage wasn't updating until I actually tapped on the display to wake it up. So a little bit of a bug there, hopefully that's resolved in a future version of iOS. And I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to about an hour later as the five watt power adapter takes quite a long time to charge the iPhone 14 Pro, at least in comparison to the other power adapters. So finally, when checking in three hours and 35 minutes into the test, the five watt adapter fully charged the 14 Pro to 100%. So there you guys have it for the final results. Of course, the overall takeaway is, you know, if you have a 20 watt power adapter or higher, there's really no need to upgrade your power adapter. If you're currently using a 5 watt or a 12 watt power adapter, depending on how quickly you need your device to charge, it might be worth upgrading to a 20 watt power adapter. Again, at the end of the day, it really just depends on when you charge your device and you know how quickly you need it charged. And it's also worth noting that these final numbers aren't accurate to the minute, of course, because we're checking in at those five minute increments. These final times here are going to be a minute or two off. And it's also worth noting that the 20 watt, 30 watt, and 35 watt power adapters use a USB-C to lightning cable to charge, while the 12 watt and 5 watt power adapters use a USB-A to lightning cable. So if you're about to go out and buy any of these power adapters, just make sure you also have the proper cable to use them. And guys, that just about wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.